Hey what's up guys, this is Dan CD and today I'm back with another tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be designing a lower third in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. Doesn't matter the version of Illustrator you are using, just follow this tutorial step by step and you will get along with what we are doing here. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file, I'm going to create a new document. So I'm going to, I'm going for the art and illustration. So I'll be changing my unit here to pixels and I'll be creating a simple standard square which is uh, 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and then I click, click on create. So we have a new blank document here and um, from the design I had earlier I already made um, a color control for all the stands so the tutorial this tutorial will not be that lengthy when you start trying to get the right color so as you can see i have this color palette created here and i will provide this um, color palette in, in terms of um, color code to be in the description of this um, video so without wasting much time let's let's copy this um, color control i'm going to drag all, all over everything i'm going to edit and i'm going to copy now a new blank document i'm going to create a new layer then i'm going to call this layer color control so I'm going to create a uh, call this layer color control and then I'm going to edit and I'm going to paste in place. So after pasting in place, as you can see it has been pasted here, I'm going to lock the layer so I won't mess up with my color. So on this layer one, I'm going to rename it to background BG. So that's short form. So the next thing is to try and fill this um our our blank document which is just white with our background color i think this is the background color we'll be using so um i'll provide the color codes for you so you can follow me the way i'm designing and the way i'm taking each step so i'll select the rectangle tool and i'm going to press i on my keyboard just to sample color from here i'll select the rectangle tool back and i'm going to click right about where it says intersect i'm going to click and drag and about where it says into set here again i'm going to release the mouse so i'm going to lock this background here so we don't mess up with it so i'm going to select the color control layer and i'm going to create a new layer above it so the first thing first is to start with the base color as you can see from this design we have we have this um deep blue then we have this white um rectangle so these are the first two these are the two things to be creating first so Going back to our blank, do blank document, sorry, I'll select my rectangle tool and I'm going to change the color first. So let me change the color first. I'll select, I will press I on my keyboard yes, just to sample color from my color palette here. So I'm going to, no, let's start with, let's start with white. Let's start with white. Let's start with white. Let me be sure I'm, I'm white. So, okay, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'll select my rectangle tool, I'll click and drag right about that point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit, I'm going to copy, edit and you paste in place. So if you open this uh, layout area, you see we already have two rectangles, the first one we created and duplicated rectangle. So all we have to do is let's make a few adjustments to the duplicated rectangle so i'm going to bring down the height i'll just click there and bring down the height right about that point i'll press i on my keyboard and i'm going to change the color to deep blue so as you can see so and i think the first rectangle we created is to the height is too much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring down the height a bit right about that point i think about that point is okay no that's too small so let's just leave it the, the way it is for now we can make adjustment to that later so the next thing is to select our pen tool you just press p on your keyboard for shortcuts and start creating the curves as you can see from the first design we have here we have a gentle smooth curve here and i won't say it was the first time i tried creating this curve it was the first time i got it no i tried like two to three times and depends on how, how how you are good with the paint tool so if you are just starting with the paint tool i think it might take a um, few or more trials before you could 
so you can get the curve perfectly but just follow me the way i'm doing mine and maybe i could be of help to you so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in here a bit so i'm going to click about this point now click about this point i'm going to click i'm going to drag to where I, yeah i think i'm i'm okay with this curve then i'm going to come here to the last anchor point that i created i need to press alt on my keyboard i'm going to click i'm going to come down and try and make the the, the path straight then i'm going to click i'm going to click at about a point and i'm going to come back to the first anchor point i created i'm going to click and drag Yeah, that was the first part we created. So we'll still make a few adjustments to this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll select my direct um, selection tool. Let me zoom in here a bit so you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this path. So I'm going to select that path and I'm going to come to this undo controls and I'll convert selected anchor point to smooth. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see that's created another undo here for me so now i can start adjusting i can start adjusting my 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 curve here to to suit what i actually wanted to look like so i'm going to make a few adjustments as you can see i'm making few adjustments and um you can just just be careful with the handle because if you don't if you don't dry the proper way you can just get things messed so i'm going to adjust this other part so i'm going to click i think i'm going to bring it in i'll select um shift and i'm going to bring it in right about a point and um adjust it there's an issue here so select my shift i'm going to bring that point out as you can see so i think i i, I have a, I have a smooth curve here and you can as well still take the time just to make it um, perfect as you want as you can see i think i've messed everything up i think I'm okay I'm okay with this I'm okay with this so I'm going to change the color I'm going to I'm going to come to where I have my color controls I'll press I on my keyboard I'm going to change the color to to this deep um blue we have here so I'm going to zoom out a bit now so I'm going to select it and I'm going to bring it right about where it says intersect as you can see so I think um, looking at our, the first design we have here, you can see I think it's a little bit bigger. So we can just make adjustments to that. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. So I'll select my direct selection tool. I'll make sure I click on this path. And after clicking on the path, I'll drag. Making sure I hold my shift on my keyboard just to make it align properly and i'm going to release the another thing is i noticed um this particular point is going off our design so next i'm going to do is i'll select this point and i'm going to bring it down where where it meets the white rectangle but as you can see our what's it called our custom uh, path here our custom shape here has been messed up with so what i'll do is i'll just adjust the handle so I'll bring that I'll bring this down a bit as you can see. I'll bring it down. I'll bring it down a bit. I'll still select it. Then I'll adjust the other handle. Sorry. I'll select it. Then I'll adjust this other handle. I'll adjust it. As you can see, it has been adjusted and everything looks um smooth and um perfect. So the next thing is to work on this um white rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'll select the white rectangle and I'll, I'll click on this anchor point make sure you click on the anchor point so you remove the whole rectangle so i'll click and drag while holding shift sorry so it's so 
aligned properly and um, when you're okay you release your mouse as you can see we have a gap here so how can we take care of this gap it's very simple what we have to do is come to the paint tool click for some times and for some few seconds and release so you just select on select the add anchor point and you try and add a point along the path here so add a path here then i'll select my direct selection tool i'll click on the path sorry i didn't click on the new created path there anchor point there so i'll click on the newly created anchor points i'll click and drag then we can also do the, do the same for this so I'll click on the anchor point and i'm going to bring it in make sure you're holding your shift so you don't mess up with your design so as you can see we have the first this is the first face of our design so as you can see everything is looking the way we want it to want it to look like as you can see so next thing is to duplicate um just our uh, custom shape so we can create this 3d kind of um custom shape so what we have to do is um i'm going to select select this i'm going to edit copy edit paste in place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it out using my using my um direction keys on my keyboard then i'm going to change the color no no let me leave the color then now i have to change the color of the first um, custom shape i'll select it i'll press i on my keyboard and i'm going to change the color to this light to this light uh cyan so what i have to do is uh as you can see this is the duplicated shape the custom shape so what i have what, what i have to do now is to click on it and bring it below the first um, created uh, custom shape so i will zoom in here so we can make some adjustments so so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to adjust this first rectangle so this um custom shape and i'll select my direct selection tool i'll click on it i'll click on this last part while holding shift i'll try and bring it in sorry i have to zoom in so i i won't mess with things i'm doing i'll click on it and i'm going to bring it to where about that point so as you can see our uh, custom um shape has been actually messed up with so what we have to do is to adjust the handles so i think it's the handles we're going to adjust so i'm going to select this handle as you can see yep it has been adjusted so as you can see we have the first face of our design looking neat and smooth so the next thing is to select this um two um what's it called to select this um, to custom shape just hold your shift just come here and, and click on it and select the two so what i have to do, what you have to do is go to edit you just click on copy and go to edit and just click on paste in place as you can see this is the new duplicated um, custom shape what i have to do is i'll hold shift on my keyboard making sh make sure you're you are, you are using the um selection to just click and drag hold shift so it will still be in place and i can now uh, i can right click and go to transform reflect make sure you turn on the preview vertical and the angle 90 and you click ok as you can see so i cannot use my keyboard um keyboard um direction keys to turn move it in position right about the point you think it's okay so we have to cover up for this but if i'm covering up for this i think the old lower tool design will be too be too small so i just have to shift it out so i have to shift it out very well so let me shift it out instead yeah let me shift it out so i think it's it's okay right about that point so i have to now work on this um white rectangle so i'll select my direct selection to what we did the other time so i'm going to come to this anchor point here i'm going to click sorry i have to make sure make sure you are clicking on this anchor point most, most people make these mistakes let me see <laughs> i make the mistake most time no not most people so i'm going to click and make sure intersect there then what we did the other time go to the paint tool add anchor point or add an anchor point here 
I'll make sure I select this anchor point alone. Now click and drag in. So it should cover that whole place. So as you can see, they're almost done with our lower third design. So the next thing is to looking at our prototype here. You can see to create this um, little thing here. So what we what we have to do now is um. So I'll select my rectangle tool. I'll click and drag right about that point. Let's make it small as possible. So I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to select my direct selection tool and I'll click on this first anchor point and I'll hold down shift and I'll click on the second anchor point just to select these two anchor points. Then I will I will try and bring I'll try and as you can see I have this curve icon just below my cursor so I'm going to click and bring it in very well as you can see so I think um, the next thing now here is to just change the color of this uh, other thing then I'm going to come here sorry I messed up with this so I think um, let me go back to our documents. That was been messed up. So I'm trying to locate um, my what's it called my color palette. So I'm going to press I on my keyboard. I'm going to let me zoom out. Let me let me be sure my my um, new um, custom shape is is still selected. So I'll sample from this light lighter um, what's it called sign here. So the next thing is um. As you can see um, from the prototype we have there, sorry, no why, it's because the color control is selected as I zoom in to the color control. So, as you can see, there's a gentle slope here, a gentle slope here. So, to implement this, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, let me zoom in here. The next thing to do now is um, I'll select this, my uh, direct selection tool. And I'll select on this last anchor point. I'll click and drag. Now I'll select this point. What I have to do is to convert to curve. So, so after converting to curve, the next thing is to turn zoom in very well. So I can you can adjust the handles. So I'll zoom in here, then I'll, I'll turn and adjust the handles. As you can see. I think I have to move this anchor point out a bit. Just move it out a bit so then you adjust the handles. Just follow me the way I'm doing it and you see it's quite easy. It requires patience. So as you can see, I've already eased out that particular point. So we we'll have to zoom out now. Then the next thing to do is, I'm not sure if it's evenly smoothed. So I think I still need to bring it out a bit. Let me use my arrow keys here. So yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's nice. So I have to zoom out. So the next thing to do now is I'll select it. I'll go to edit, copy, edit, and I'm going to paste in place. So after pasting in place, I'll select the new um, duplicated um, shape. Then I'm going to click and drag while holding my shift. I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to transform. Then I'm going to reflect. And I'll make sure all the parameters we have been using since I did. And I'll click on OK. So I can now bring it back in. Still holding my shift. So as you can see. Then the next thing is to drag over everything and I'll go to my window and make sure I'll, I'll, I'll click on uh, the Pathfinder and I'll click on Unite. So, because I did turn everything to one single shape. So, the next thing is to try and move it in place after uh, uniting the whole path together. So, I'm going to bring it up and um, I'm going to select it and bring it up right about that position. And um, if it's too big, I can just try and reduce it holding my alt and shift 
so I'm going to kill everything accordingly so as you can see so we are done with the design so the next thing is to start adding our what's it called our gradients so that was too much time let me zoom in and let's start adding our gradient so the first thing we are going to do is um we're going to select this um particular um custom shape we created first so i'll make sure i have my color control around me here so i can just use that to 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 follow up with the color um design so the next thing i will do is i'll click on this little gradient here this little wow that's how we are saying gradient sorry i'll select it and i'll click on this little gradient here so as you can see it has messed with our what's it called our color so what i'm going to do is i'll first for change the angle to 90 then the first thing is our where we have this black i'm going to i'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and i'm going to sample i'm going to use this light cyan and when we have this um white i'm going to select the color picker and i'm going to select this deep cyan so i cannot use this um this um what can i call this now i can use this um toggle what i call it toggle switch just so i chose the gradient to right about the center as you can see so i'll select my move tool the next thing i'm going to do is i'll select this other custom shape on the other side i'll press i on my keyboard and i'll sample the some um, gradient and automatically it's going to copy the gradient property from this other um, custom shape and it's going to apply it on this other shape on the other side so that's what we're going to do for that and i think um i can i can i can adjust the gradient to fall to fall in place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sound adjust it as you can see from the slider just to make um, just some few variations between the two so i think uh, the next thing is to, to do now is to work on this other other custom shape so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this but this time around i think i i want to i want to adjust the i want to adjust the um slider control so the gradients will be fitted adequately so as you can see i think uh that's okay that's okay but I, I think we are losing a bit of details towards the towards the down part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift i'm going to shift this a bit adjust the gradient accordingly yeah so I think uh, that's, that's okay so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select this other other custom shape press I on my keyboard and I'll sample from this um, gradient and automatically it's to apply the gradient to this other design so the next thing is to apply gradient to the to the first rectangle shape we did so what we're going to do is i'm going to select a uh, rectangle as you can see but what we have to do is we have to change the color so i'll select where i have this um deep cyan and from my uh, from the color palette i have here what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to select this white and we'll change the angle back to 90 degrees so and on this other part what I'm going to do is I'm going to select I'm going to select this white so I think we have the same color on both ends so I have to change this um, white I think the white on the other part so all I have to do is I'll double click then I'm going to make it um, grayscale I'm going to bring drag this later right about that point I think that's too much and just drag it at about it so 
I'll move back to the, the center of my canvas. Now it's an adjust everything with this um, toggle slider. As you can see. And I can as well adjust right from here. As you can see. So I only want the upper part to be a little bit um, dark. Well, I don't want the other part to be to be that. I think this is not plain white. So after this, I'll make sure I'm, I'm on grayscale and I'll make it white. Yeah, so, and I'll still try and make a few adjustments until it suits my view. I think I'm okay with it. So the next thing is to do is to select this last um rectangle with the um, custom shape we, we we do and also apply this gradient so I'll just press i on my keyboard and i'll sample this gradient and i'll make sure i change the angle to 90 degrees Hit enter and i can as well adjust the slider to just to shift the location a bit to where i want it so that's it with um completely design this lower third actually it might take her um, um, uh, maybe you're just starting to learn illustrator it might um, look a little bit um, kind of complicated but actually it's something you can just um, go over and over and over you can take time to work on it so you can just customize it to what you want and um, make the adjustment you want to make and make it suit your view so yeah I think um, we can just try and add our text um, just and select the type to and I'm going to make sure the color is um is not, is not gradient then I will make sure the color is um I press I I'll select this deep blue and I and I can start typing guest and I will scale Holding my alt and, um, and shift. Let's make it in position. Put it in position. And as I adjust, adjust the height of the of the text, and I'm going to make another text. I'll just so I think I can make the color just white. about there with my hot and shift so I'll use my arrow keys to move it in position yeah, as you can see we are done with uh, our lower tour design in Adobe Illustrator CC so if you are confused on an uh, any step we, we, we took in the, in the process of the tutorial you can just pause go back and watch as many times as possible until you get the right way to there are some things I actually skipped because of these um I don't want this tutorial to be too lengthy for example I didn't even I didn't even go to the alignments and uh, other some um, things but I think I just wanted to show you the scope behind all this drawing of vector shapes and making uh, the right color feel and bringing your vector object to pop thank you for watching today's tutorial I am Dan CD Make sure you like, comment, and share this tutorial to your friends. And in any way or the other, if you are confused, just drop comments in the comment section. And I know we have a lot of designers who are following who are ready to put you through. Thank you to meet next time.